Hey guys, so in this video I just want to compare GTA San Andreas. I want to test this on uh, different uh, Galaxy devices here, uh, which are still many being sold at the moment. The Galaxy flagship lineup, but also the brand new Galaxy A5 and A3 and the, the Galaxy Alpha, which was also a pretty cool device from last year. So let's start off here with the uh, Exynos 4412 inside of the, um, inside of the uh, GS2 here. So this is the GTI 9100. Uh, let's just try high high. Or right, I'm I'm just gonna try this whole game on medium. So I'm gonna try that the same on on all phones. See kind of like how it performs. Uh, Classic and low, I'm gonna do with that as well. So this video is probably not gonna be perfect, but you kind of will get an idea. So you kind of get an idea here that seems to be running pretty, pretty insanely awesome here. Wow, what an idiot. But it's pretty insane, I don't really have any problems here. And this one has a 840 times 800 resolution display. I can probably even bump up the specs a little bit. And this is the cool thing with Mali GPU. That it's really really awesome. Even on the highest graphics here with 800, 800 times like 480 resolution, it runs very, very nice. So now let's uh, check it out on the next device, which is going to be the Galaxy A3 here which is a newer Samsung device here from 2015. And I know this device is gonna struggle a little bit here. So I'm just gonna run on medium. So you can see this one has the Adreno 306 GPU, but it struggles here compared to an S2. I mean, it's almost like a joke. I mean, I need to go lower here. You kind of notice that. So now you can see you can play the game, but you can see that the graphic has to load. And that could be a little bit annoying here. Idiot. And it doesn't, I don't think it looks as good as the S2. So now let's take a look at it on the Galaxy Alpha. 
which uh, is featuring the pretty nice Exynos 5 inside of it. So I'm just going to start off here with medium. So, um, nice performance. I'm not sure if it's as nice as the S2, I don't think so. But then again, this, this display is higher resolution. That could probably cause some issues. But it's definitely playable here. And if we would go up a little bit more. You can still see you can play on the highest tier, but might struggle a little bit. Especially in turns. Uh, but uh, overall very very nice there. Now the Ma I think the Mali 400 GPU inside of the, this one is a little bit more powerful than what you do get inside of the uh, Galaxy S2. But let's just go with. Let's just start off from high there. So you can see here, very, very nice. I'm pretty sure this phone has like a 720p display. Maybe not the best performance here, even on the high here, because it has higher resolution than the Galaxy S2. And that probably affects the performance here a little bit. Yeah, I can definitely feel some lag, and I can see the graphic problems, but now I'm running on high, don't forget that. And if we would even go a little bit higher... It could still be pretty nice. So definitely an okay experience here. But definitely when you drive fast you can feel frame rate, frame rate drop there. Now let's check it out on the S2 with the Snapdragon 600 Adreno 320 GPU. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's start off here on medium. I think actually this one has worse performance. It has a 1080p display as well, so it's going up there higher, which could definitely be a problem. Hmm, interesting. It actually seems to be performing pretty nice here. Whoa. I think it looks the 1080p display, I guess it looks better. 
then uh, the uh, Galaxy S3. So we can definitely raise the graphics here. Now you definitely start to feel it struggle a little bit more here. A lot actually. But it looks pretty nice. And I enjoyed the experience definitely. Now let's uh, check it out here on the Galaxy A5 which has the same internals as the uh, as the uh, A3 which is very very disappointing actually it should definitely have been a little bit more powerful So I need to run this on low or else look at this even in the darkness it can struggle here with the Adrenaline 306 GPU so this is I mean it's a nice phone to hold and stuff but it doesn't look good at all it's not a phone for high-end games or at least not for GTA high-end games But you can probably get used to the little bit lower graphics if you really want this phone. Because it's a really nice phone overall. I mean, it has a good, great camera, good selfie phone. And then we do have the S5 here with Snapdragon 801, I think. The S5, interesting. And I'm also going to run here on the medium from the start. Wow, I wonder if they use improved performance overall, but it feels really really great here. What the fuck is he doing? Ow. That was so stupid. Why did he walk around? Wow, it feels really good like performance wise. I think this one has Adrena 330. Did it really? Feels like they must have made it like an update because usually this is not how I remember it. Not even a single problem here. Let's raise it up. Wow, still really, really good here. In performance, it really feels like they made an update something to make it run better. This is really fantastic. Thanks, homie. So I haven't got single like major frame drop, which is really really cool. This is definitely a nice phone here to play this game on. So, just a quick little look uh, on these phones. Uh, hopefully, you did enjoy it at least a little bit. And uh, just for fun, me uh, just making it in one video. 
We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, have a lovely day.